Uh, for Drake, we have head coach Jenny Baranchek along with freshman Nicole Miller and junior Lizzie Wendell. Coach, want to go ahead and kick things off with a statement about today's win over Iowa State. You know, this is this is a big a big win for us, and not just because of who we played against, but how we played today. I thought we did such an amazing job of playing together. I mean, you look at our stat sheet. Everybody scored, everybody had rebounds, everybody did their part. So in that sense, I couldn't be more proud of our team. Iowa State is a very, very talented basketball team. They're gonna continue, they're gonna be a top 25 team. Like in, in my mind, there's no question that they'll be a top 25 team by the end of this season. Um, but I think today for us, I couldn't be, I couldn't be more proud of the way that our players stepped up and everybody had to do something different. Nicole goes four for four from the free throw line, which is huge. Lizzie hits a big shot when she needs to. Caitlin hits a big shot when she needs to. Maddie Dean rebounds. Sarah Ryan hits some things. Emma Donahue, our senior. You could go down every, everybody's list and or the list of our entire roster and just see that um, everybody did their part, and I love that. Nicole, can you kind of take us through the last couple minutes when you didn't have to go to the free throw line four times and what, I mean, what, was, what were you thinking about in that moment? Um, yeah, I guess I knew that they were going to come foul us, so just get it, getting the ball, obviously, and then just staying calm, and when I got to the free throw line, I just like thought about just being in the gym. Um, I've talked a lot with our coach Jackie just about relaxing and just blocking out everything and um, just shooting a free throw. I mean, we do it all the time, and, and we've been working on it in practice a lot, so I think that's helped too. Lizzie, uh, first half had two points, still a layup. What changed for you in the second half? Um, I don't think much changed. Just stayed in the games, kept shooting, and. You know, kept moving on offense, kept trusting my teammates and trusting Caitlin to get me the ball, and then they ended up falling in the second half. How big is it for the returning players, you, you know, Caitlin and all, after last year's Iowa game, in the sense that you had a similar situation and it was overtime and last second stuff, how big was it to kind of win a game like this? Yeah. And yeah. it was a year later after, you know, and playing an in-state rival in your gym, this time you win it. Yeah, it was big, especially it's on our home floor, and we had a great um, – Fan, we had great fans today, and um, so it was nice to come, you know, protect our house and get this big win, especially against a great team like Iowa State. And you know, we stayed calm. We have a young team, and but we worked on it every day. And we know what to do at the end of games when they're close, and so we just played through it and came out on top. And let's make no mistake: there hasn't been a rivalry, you know. I mean, there just hasn't. So for us to be able to come out and compete. Today was not about who we played. I, I know that they're a very good basketball team. They're a great team. But today was our first game on our home floor, and that's all we really focused on. I have all the respect in the world for what they've done in their program. In fact, the way that they've recruited Iowa kids in the past is why is a big reason why we came in and did the same thing. So take that aside. That's what we came in today was to play the best we possibly could, and then you let the chips fall where they may. Lizzie? What's your thoughts, and did you say anything to Nicole as she's going up to the line? Or, I Make mean, it. you see her every day in practice, <laughs> that the rest of us don't see her, but you see her. How much faith did you have in her in those four free throws in the last 24 seconds? Yeah, like she said, we've been working on practice, and Nicole's the type of girl that gets in the gym all the time. She's always in there shooting extra, and so I had no doubt that she was going to put him in, and, you know, after the first one, just said do it again, and she did it, and, yeah, we all had confidence in her. Coach, what makes a player like Sean Johnson so hard to prepare for? You can't simulate. You can't emulate her in practice. I mean, she's so incredibly talented. She's so athletic. She's versatile. She can shoot the three. Um, she's, you know, I think she should have been a preseason pick too. But I don't get a vote in the Big Twelve. Um, so she just she can do it all. I mean, she can rebound. I mean, you look at, I mean, sixteen and sixteen, and it's pretty impressive. I think that alone makes a player really special. But she does. She has a high basketball IQ. She can. She just changes the game when she's out of, out of the floor, off the floor. Um, they're a different team. When she's on the floor, they're a completely different team. Coach, where you, how do you build on this in the sense of we always talk about uh, even though it's the first game of the year, it, it is a chance to kind of build the resume. This is kind of a good win for the Valley. It's a great win for our conference. I think you're absolutely right. It's a huge win for our conference. Um, but it's also, I think, a big win to propel us to our tough non-conference schedule. You know, I mean, we're going on the road in our next game to Wisconsin. So it's going to be a big crowd, but it's going to be all their fans. You know, so now our true test is, okay, can you win a game? 
and now sustain it? Can you sustain tomorrow in practice? Can we play at that high level again? Can we play the high level the next day, you know, and then be ready for that game? So it can't be we get all up for one game and then we're done. Now this young team is going to be thrown into the fire, whether we like it or not. Um, but it's going to prepare us for the rest of our non-conference. What, what can you say about the three ball tonight? It seemed to come in big situations. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I think we hit threes when we really needed to hit them. I, the, but the best thing I think about this team and the difference that you talk about, a difference that we've had in years past that we've played them, we didn't hesitate on taking any shot. Tonight we took the shot. And you know what? Sometimes they don't fall. Sometimes they do. But if you take it and you can stay in that present moment and just know that you're going to take it and your team's going to take it and they all trust each other, and that's, I mean, that's, it, it's a game changer. You know, that's another thing that, that Iowa State does extremely well. So for us to be able to, I mean, they still got 33 attempts, but we had 35 attempts. So both teams want to shoot the ball. What was the biggest thing you wanted to try to do with your defense today? They struggled in the post game all day, and like you said, maybe struggled to shoot the, the, the three ball a little bit and get anything going there. What, would, what were you trying to do, and what did you see from the defense? You know, the biggest thing I think we tried to do was they're so good in transition, and they're so good in transition threes. So that's one area that we really tried to focus on. Um, and then we knew that they're a three-point shooting team. We're a three-point shooting team. So that, when you take away a three, that's a hard that's a hard thing to do. And so taking away the threes, doing that, and then we tried our best to rebound with them. Anything else? All right. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.